just share with you and I feel God put it on my heart today to talk about provision for the vision mm -hmm. and um, that some of you are entrepreneurs some of you um, just are doing different things that God has placed in your heart and just wanted to remind you so um, great that God put that song on your heart today um, to not to give up now mm -hmm. um, that you've come too far mm -hmm. um, and that whatever the vision is he will give you provision for that mm -hmm. he will that. complete that which he has started in you Amen. and um, the scripture he gave me is Isaiah 49 14 15 and 16 and it says but Zion said the Lord has not forsaken me and my Lord has <clears throat> has forgotten me but then the Lord answer says, Can a woman forget her nursing child, that she could not have compassion on a son of her womb? Yes, they may forget, yet I will not forget you. Behold, I have imprinted, tattooed a picture of you on the palm of each of my hands. And so, I don't know where everybody is in their life. I don't know if you're changing seasons or what. whenever we're changing seasons to you know, that's, that's a scary place. And yeah. sometimes we, we feel like God has forgotten us. Mm -hmm. um, people may forget us. Mm -hmm. Family may forget us. Mm -hmm. Friends may forget us. But God said, can a, can a nursing mother forget her child? Mm -hmm. That child could be in another room and cry. Mm -hmm. And that, that, that mother will provide provision. Automatically, her body will mm -hmm. respond to yes. that. So I don't know what tears you've cried. I don't know what you've been through. But the God of hosts has not forgotten oh, you. He will provide provision for you. Ooh. That very same thing that he oh, planted in you, Jesus. he must see it for it. God oh, is not a man yeah. that he shall lie, nor oh, son of man yeah. should he repent. So yeah, anything yeah. that he said, he's going to do it. Oh, and I, I just want right. to share with this with you, because some of us are business owners, some of us are not. Mm -hmm. The thing that God has planted in us does not change. Mm -hmm. How we do that may change. The way we deliver it may change. You mm -hmm. used to go around praying for people. God still has the gift of praying over your life. You may not go door to door. He may have you in the choir where you have to pray for deliverance for those people in the choir. God still will use you. He will still use the gift that he has in you. How he uses you may be different. But we have to understand that he will still use us. He has not forgotten us. And he will provide provision for us. Why? Because he said so. Why? Because he cannot lie. Why? Because he's counting on us to trust him, right? Amen. God uses people. And I thank God for Sister Simone, because look at all of us who are here today, because she's doing the vision Amen. where she struggled even to come through this day. Amen. This has been canceled so many times, but God said, no, it must go on. So God is even using her in this season. And we have to understand that the thing that God has in us, the thing that God wants to use us for, it is for someone else too. So yes. the very thing in you will help provision for someone else. So we have to understand that it's bigger than us. We have to understand it's not just about us. We, you know, I hear people say, I want to be like Abraham, you know, the mm -hmm. generation in the seas. Well, guess what? If I'm going to be like Abraham, that means it has to touch someone beyond me. Mm -hmm. This thing that's in me is not just about me. Mm -hmm. This thing is about yeah. the generations to come. Right. Therefore, that's why it's important that we write the vision and make it plain. Mm -hmm. Why do we write it down? Because it's not just for me. It's for you. It's for my child. It's for the people to come. Guess what? Because when I'm gone, Jesus is still here. He's still on the throne and his will still must be done. So. Amen. Amen. God is so. good. <laughs> I love the Lord. Um, and I wrote down I wrote down a whole bunch of scriptures that I wanted to make sure that I said. But um, Philippians 4 and 419 says, But God shall yes. supply all your needs according Ooh, to his riches really? and glory. All your needs. He didn't say all some of them. He said he will supply them all. That means there's an endless flow. That means there is more than enough. That means an abundance of. So because he said it, he will do it. We have to sometimes remind ourselves of the word. We, I write everything down. My memory sometimes isn't that great. But I know <laughs> that his word is true. And he'll bring it back to me. And all I have to do is go back to that, that sheet that I wrote down. Go back to the Bible and remind remind myself of what thus said the Lord. And there's there's something I, I definitely want to um, jump to um, about our thoughts. Yes. Because the enemy comes to steal 
and de destroy. But we that's that's in the word. But the God said that He come that we would have life and have it abundantly. Mm -hmm. And so when we get those thoughts in our minds, those things that come to cloud the word of God, we must then remind ourselves of the word of God, mm -hmm. and we have to say it. We have to keep repeating it. We have to walk it out. You right. walked it out. You said, I don't care if it's just me and you here, Lanise. We're going to have it. What is that? That's called faith. That's called walking it out, not knowing what's going to be, not knowing what's going to come. But I know that God has me on assignment. And it's my responsibility to do what thus said the Lord. It doesn't matter who else. Because God That's already right. knew who was going to be here. God already knows That's what's going right. to be done. He wants to see, are you going to be faithful over the little that I give you? Are you going to be faithful? He, he's required to multiply. Not not us. Yeah. All we're required to do is walk it out. So we have to keep walking it out. Keep saying it. And keep re And some people are like, well, that's faking it. No, it ain't faking no, it. He said the renewing of the mind. And in order for this mind to be renewed, I have to keep repeating it over and over again. Yeah. I have to keep that's telling right. the enemy he's a lie. When he tells me those lies, I go right back to the word. No, this is what thus said the word. You will not have my heart. You will not have my mind. You will not have my thoughts. Ooh. I am a new creature. Uh, Why? Because God said ooh. so. So I'm going to keep well, saying it. I'm going to keep believing it. And I'm going to keep walking it out. Amen. And so it's just so important. Whatever God has, has, has told you, he has not forgotten. Man forget, but God does not forget. Sometimes we're in a season and it's dark. Sometimes we're in a season and we don't know how. And, um... That's when we have to really, really, really. The Lord is yours. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And I trust you with it because he knew you could carry it. He already knew. Sometimes we feel like, Lord, I can't. But anything that we need, that's why it's important that we walk our vision out. Because yeah. what you are carrying might be the very thing I need to carry mine. Yes. So we have to trust God in it because God uses people. God God uses who he may. And that's another thing. We have to let go of who we want him to use. Sometimes he said he'll mm -hmm. use the enemy as your footstool. So you can't say, oh, I ain't going to take it from him. God might want you to take it from him yeah. because through your light, you're going to be the salt of the <laughs> earth. So, and, that's, and if we don't do that, then we're blocking Ooh, the very thing that that, that, that person the needs from us. Amen. So we just have to be obedient Amen. in that. And, and he didn't say it was going to be easy, but it's going to be worth it. Right. It's going to be worth it. And, and he's going to take care of us. Yes. We don't have to worry about anything. You said mm -hmm. that you're blessed. All of us are blessed. Mm -hmm. And it's just walking and knowing that. Um, and a lot of times I put fear. Fear mm -hmm. is the enemy of faith. Oh, it is. Mm -hmm. Opposite. It, mm -hmm. It's just the enemy of it. So we just have to really, really, and, and, and like I said, I keep, sometimes I'm not going to, I don't lie about it. Sometimes my faith is weak. Mm -hmm. Lord, increase oh, yeah, my no. faith. Mm -hmm. Lord, increase my That's faith. Right. And I keep prayer. saying it. I yes. keep saying it. Right. I don't Every care. Day. My emotions are a lie. The scenery is a lie. The God of hosts yep. is the truth. Lord, Amen. increase my faith. Lord, increase my faith. And I just keep saying it and keep saying it till Amen. I believe it, till Amen. I walk it out until my life reveals it. Amen. Your life needs to reveal that of a woman of faith. That's the power of yes. right there. God is yes. so yes. good. Is um. Um, and so, whoo -hoo, I think that's, <laughs> oh, I do want to no, say you this. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of notes here. Oh. <laughs> I'm loving so, this. So, um, we got the room tonight. Yeah, class. so, um, it's important that we do what we call because God will use others. You know, we're yes. fulfilling that assignment. Um, and God wants us to, to have a life and a life abundantly. Matthew 5, 5 says, bless are the meek. For they will inherit the earth. Amen. And meek in this in this scripture means discipline. Mm -hmm. um, this is this is so important to me because a lot of times we think about um, the afterlife and being with God to be in heaven. That's great. I think about oh, that too. Beautiful. But He said, "Bless are the meek, for they will inherit the earth." The earth. Sure so that means okay, you now, want us right to get now. some stuff right now. Yeah, Look, right. I'm not gonna wait to the pearly gates to praise Him. I'm not gonna wait to the pearly gates to get the things that God says that I can inherit right now. Right now. Right now. So we have to understand that that scripture is for us. He wrote it. He might not say Lanice, but I know he meant Lanice <laughs> right there and her inherited right now. And so we have to focus focus our life that way. God didn't. <laughs> Create us just for to praise him in heaven. He he created us to praise him right here, and that we'll be able to do the things that we need to do in order to glorify him. So I just want us to to trust him, and um and then lastly, I guess I'll end here 
Well, I, I'm going to do this, and then I got one more point I, I really wanted to share, too. Um, to be anxious for nothing. Anxious but in everything, nothing. prayer and Thank supplication you. with thanksgiving, letting your yes. requests be known to God, Thank and the peace of God which surpasses, oh. surpasses, surpasses oh, all understanding, understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. So I don't mm -hmm. know. Again, everybody's story, everybody's journey is different, but that doesn't matter because the word says nothing, uh -huh. right? nothing. So nothing you're going through, nothing. you, Nobody at this table, nothing that you're going through. We do not need to be anxious. Why? Because we look to the hill from which oh, cometh our glory. help and our help cometh from the Lord. Yeah. So we know he said we don't have to be anxious about it. We don't have to worry about it. In fact, I'm giving God praise right now yes. for my new house. I'm giving God oh, praise amen. right now that my credit is good. I'm giving God praise right now. Whatever is going on in your life, everything, I'm not going to worry about that. I'm not going to be angry. Because if I'm worried about that, am I praising God like I should? No. Am I being the witness that I should? No, because I'm too worried and anxious about the things of this earth, which have no control and power over me. So um, I just want to encourage us to do that. And the last thing, I don't know why this kind of came to me. I thought about Esther. Oh, and yes. um, I guess I thought about this because I know that some women are entrepreneurs and most um, women in here are doing something that directly says okay. faith or God. But um, in the book of Esther, she never said God, mm -hmm. but her life resembled it. Amen. She didn't even Amen. have to speak it. And so <laughs> as we are out here talking to different people, we have to use discernment. Yes. God will let your light shine. You don't have to say, mm -hmm. God said this, God said this. He will lead you mm -hmm. how to do that. And Esther was just such a powerful woman. And I think about the story that you shared, or you shared, and how the women came to you, and they prayed for you. And they, yes. they, they prayed, and I'm sure they fasted. And before Esther went to the king, when she yes. could have lost her life, she got a group of people. Mm -hmm. And she said, before I go to them, I, I want you to pray and fast Amen. before I go to the king. And they did that. And she said, if I perish, let me perish. Mm -hmm. And I want to say sometimes we need to say, if I perish, let me perish. Mm -hmm. Meaning, I'm going to die to my flesh. I'm going to die to my oh, own Lord. thoughts. It's let perish. everything that's not like you perish. Yes. If it perish, let yes. it perish. Yes. I don't care what people think. I don't yes. care what's going on. Let it perish. Yes. Let them have this house. Oh, let them have this car. Yes. Let them have my kids. Anything. anything. Lord, if it's not for me, let it yes. go, Father God, Lord. Yes. Because yes. your go will, all, like, your yeah. will needs to be done. Yes. We have to get to that point where we let everything perish for the will of God, yes, for the God. will of God, because in the end, he knows what's best. In the end, yeah. he already he knows, knows the he end. Knows. Hallelujah. <laughs> so we have to stand on that, and we have to yeah. trust on that. And so, a lot of us are like Esther's in here, right? Amen. We, we got a lot going on, mm -hmm. but when we go, got those situations going on, let's be like Esther. Let's get our group of women, those people that we trust. Let's pray. Let's fast before we make any decision Hallelujah. Let's pray and fast and get those trusted people around you, knowing that God's will will, will be, done be done in our Amen. life. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And just keep allowing him to use us as a vessel. Amen. So that's all I have. I really don't know if that's what you wanted, Simone. I didn't know if I was supposed to talk about that's the job what I or whatever. But, you know. <laughs> you know what?